This is my 2011 Infiniti M56X. I'm here today because I'd like to do some preventive maintenance, especially around the high pressure fuel pump, HPFP. It is located somewhere here while we try to gain some access. This is the engine bay. This is the engine with the engine cover removed. And the high fuel pressure pump, high pressure fuel pump, sorry, is located under this. This is a foam, foam covering that is supposed to attenuate the sound that comes from the, from the fuel pump because it's a plunger. It just goes up and down. So that ticking noise, this foam here is supposed to help with that. What I'm, I'll try to do today is record the whole process showing how you you know you get to it I'll try to make it as a no spill process I won't have to remove any coolant no oil it's going to be as dry as possible well part of that and also with regards to safety is making sure that very little fuel leaks out so we have to find a way to cut fuel the fuel supply right this is a high pressure fuel pump you have a low fuel pressure pump in the back which is the standard fuel pump you know that most cars have I have to find a way to do it there's a, a fuse in there in the IPDM of this car but right now it's a little more work than I'd like to get into to go ahead and uh, disconnect the fuse so I'll, I'll leave that I'm gonna it's not lazy it's just a shortcut but I'll find a different way to get this done so let's go inside the car and I'll show you the other way that I want I want to do this my car has zero issues no check engine light no codes at all but uh, it would be pretty prudent to just go ahead and try to address this if it's a problem as you can see here uh, the car is running fine uh, idling at the right rpm but since i don't want to pull a fuse how else am i going to be able to do this i'll tell you let's go to the back Alright, so this is the back seat area. The fuel tank is under this seat, well under the car really, but you can access the fuel pump from here. So the, f the whole purpose of uh, pulling the fuel pump fuse is to stop fuel from being pumped from back here. And uh, I've got a, it's not, as I said, it's not lazy, it's just a cleaner way to do this. First, remove the seat, and removing the seat, look into here, you've got these clips. So pull this out front like this while pulling the cushion up. That's one out. Do the same on the other side if you can see it. Okay, there you go. These have already been pulled. Pull this out. Okay, so since I've pulled this, left it out of the way. Just want to make sure that I can still record video. Okay, the lights get there. Man, this is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to come here, peel this sound deadening material in the back. Finding pennies and stuff, just cleaning up. It's always something, huh? It's a treasure hunt over here. Okay, so we got four 10 millimeter uh, nuts over here. I need to get those off. Okay, so remove these. This plate can move came out pretty easy. Okay. On the back side over here, you have a fuel pump connection. Well, this connector here is for fuel level and all that. 
So right now my car might be telling me, well I can't really see from here, but let's do this. Disconnect this. This has the same result as disconnecting your fuel pump fuse. <laughs> All it does is cut power, right? So do that without slicing your hand. How about this? Let me squeeze this out first. I could have done this while the plate was still on. Just want to allow a little more play. Okay, great. So here we go. Squeeze the top of this and pull back. You can thank me later, but man, the things I do for you guys this working with one hand thing did you hear it sounded different disconnected and the car's about to die I guarantee that this is real time so it's a high fuel pressure pump up front there's a little bit of fuel in the line still but the car's about to trip out let's watch it die <laughs> hasn't noticed yet this thing holds service engine some light I bet it's something to do with fuel level I'll check it out anyway I'll let it keep running for now until it dies a natural death this is the fun part of it I usually carry these guys around. Oh, it's dying. It's about to die. It sounds different. Stumbling, stumbling. It's struggling. It's been starved of fuel. And it goes. Okay, so I'm just curious what eight codes. Sheesh. 183, 463, 420, 90. That's a high pressure fuel pump starvation. 80, 463, 87, 8A. Man, it's got it all. Okay. I'm going to reread those later. For now, what I'm going to do is this try to start the car again. Make sure it's fully, fully dead, that there's no fuel at all. That's why the engine can't run. One more time. Okay. Dead. Really dead. So good. Now I'm going to leave this... I'm going to let it sit for a while, let the engine cool down. Again, leaning on that safety angle, right? We wanted to uh, to prevent any fuel spillage. And for that reason, we'd also like to prevent any fuel from coming in contact with hot metal. It's going to cool down as best as it can sitting in the engine bay. Okay, so it is now... It is about 7.15 by my clock. I'll give this about an hour, go do other household things, and then come back to it and uh, hopefully get, get a chance to record videos that do it. It's not a very long process. Uh, it's not too tedious either. Just uh, might need a few, a few, very few special tools. But I'll, I'll do my best to show that while I work on it. 